Hi, my name is Ryan Smith. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Uh, we're at K5600, and today I want to discuss the new Joker 2. Starting in 2018, we rolled out the Joker 2, and after selling uh, thousands of units worldwide over the past 25 years, there were a lot of lessons learned about how lights age. First and foremost, we wanted to address some of those things that we couldn't have anticipated uh, back when we originally rolled out uh, the Joker line. Something as simple as top latches. I'm sure anybody who owns a Joker has lost a top latch at some point in their life. We've now made it to where it's completely fixed to the unit, so hopefully we will never have to sell you a top latch or give you a top latch ever again. One of the other handy dandy features is if you have a Joker, is you've probably set up a Jolico at some point in your life. There used to be a nice gray ring here with three screws. We would give away a lot of screws because people would lose that gray ring without fail on jobs. So now what we have is just a simple locking threaded ring. No more screws to lose. You still might lose the threaded ring, which we can get you another one for, but we're hoping that the, uh, the easeability of taking it on and off not only saves you time, but makes it a little bit more valuable to keep. Basic stuff like strain reliefs. The original Jokers had plastic strain reliefs on them. Now they're all stainless steel, nice and secure. We're hoping that we can get a, a long run out of those. Uh, braking system. Original Joker system broke uh, to the casting itself, which was made out of cast aluminum. Over 10 years of cranking and cranking and cranking, they would wear down. And then when you'd go to put that medium soft box or soft tube on your Joker, you'd slowly start to see it droop. So right now we went to a completely stainless steel system that's separate of the casting, positive braking system with a locking mechanism in there. Just as a reminder, so this is an older um, fixture and uh, you know, the head cable coming into the body, it's a plastic uh, connector. And then uh, the ring here, it had uh, three different uh, little screws and I actually broke off one of my screws. So I was only using two at the time or at this point. Um, uh, now I don't worry about that so much because I just use it as a Jolico. But then this guy, you know, um, this is, these are both the 400s. Uh, you just unscrew this rather than having any kind of uh, screws to, to, to lose. And then that just pops off. And you've got these studs here instead of these uh, screws and uh, just works a lot slicker than before. Here's the, uh, the old uh, tie down. It was okay on the 400s, uh, but on the larger ones like the 800, uh, I didn't have the 16, but um, uh, this is just a much more uh, positive lock and uh, it's nice to have those little upgrades. So, and it is, uh, it's, it's a little smaller, you know, it's, uh, it's a little more compact. Uh, one of the other cool additions that we did was we actually made the igniters uh, completely potted and removable simply with plugs. So a lot of people have asked, well, why would you do that? One, it helps from a service standpoint, so you no longer need to solder anything. Uh, there's no tools involved. You simply just plug and play the igniter into the back of the unit if you ever need to replace one. But in addition, what it gave us the ability to do was create a tungsten back. So really what this is is an empty rear cap with a switch, nice hefty uh, cable on the back, standard power, and the same two plugs. So now that you've got these two plugs, you simply snap it back into the Joker. And if you have a Joker 800, you actually now have a 1K par. And if you have a Joker 1600, you can have a 2K par. So yes, we know that uh, nobody's using tungsten anymore, when in reality, there's a lot of people that still do use tungsten. And having the ability to switch back and forth, especially when you're using our curved parabolic line, is something that's really desirable for uh, studio location jobs. So, now your joker can either be tungsten or daylight. And then we also have the 3200 Kelvin lamps that are uh, HMI technology, but 3200 Kelvin balanced. So you can get that same efficiency using your igniter and, and change the color that way as well. It's real important that we made it really easy to get in to change those lamps because we're seeing people do that more and more often uh, than they ever used to. Last but not least, ballast technology. Now everything that we do sell is high speed. Uh, it's all dimmable with one full stop, and they all do include, at no extra charge, wireless DMX functionality, which is basic two-channel on-off and dimming. Um, like I said, each ballast, the 4, the 8, and the 16, include all of those features, and that comes standard with your brand new Joker 2 kit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.